Yeah, sure. So my name is uh, Luc Gilliot. I'm working for Schneider Electric. It is a French uh, group leader in uh, energy management. And my position there is uh, being the, the corporate director for supply chain planning and inventory management. So uh, my role is uh, mainly to set up process, KPIs, standards, rules, uh, selecting tools, um, designing training to support the planning operation and in inventory management. So I'm not running the operation, but I tell the people how to do it. What is your opinion on the importance of improving the supply chain performance? Well, that's, that's the aim of the game. You know, supply chain performance is supply chain as such is a huge differentiator for customers. So you know, our product becomes more and more commodities. Um, so you need to, to find advantage that you have towards your competitors uh, to try to push your product. Uh, and, and supply chain has definitely been one of the elements. You know, just take your, uh, your uh, behavior when you go to a supermarket. If your product that you're looking for is not there, either you, you buy the one of the competitor and then you have a risk that you will never go back to your original brand, or you escape from the, you get to another hypermarket. So, and so at that time, you have a change in behavior, in buying behaviors or in sales. So that's, that's for me really key to have things at the right time, the, uh, the right products, right time, uh, of course, at the right, at the, at the right price, but that's another, another discussion. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on the usage of performance management in supply chains? Well, performance management, uh, and not only on supply chain, but certainly it becomes more and more important in supply chain, is that uh, you start to control things or to get control of things when you measure. Uh, if you don't measure, you don't know that you are uh, going out of tracks. So it's quite key for us to be sure that you are on track. Uh, it's quite key also to get the right measurement. Uh, we don't measure for the sake of measuring. We, don't, we just measure to improve stuff and, and certainly to have a positive impact on our customers, uh, on our cost, on our efficiency, uh, and ultimately also on the motivation of the people. Because if, if you are never measured, you don't know if you are doing well. And, uh, well, I don't know you, but I like to see, I like to know if, if I'm doing well, yes or no. In your experience, what are some good practices in supply chain analytics? Well, for me, in supply chain analytics, um, first of all, it all depends on what you, what, what you consider as being analytics. Is, is data crunching in Excel analytics? Then a lot of people are doing it, and, and, and you have some nasty things that if everybody is doing it, you can potentially lo lose your time doing it. So for me, uh, best practice in supply chain analytics uh, should be things that are centralized, that are uniformized, um, that really helps the business. So it means that this has to be simplified as much. Uh, we should not cruise for uh, an extended number of, of measurement, but get the right one. Get the, run, get the one that everybody understands. So it means probably in supply chain, you know, the, the typical uh, uh, order fill or, or, or some uh, uh, turns of inventory. Well, you know, turns of inventory doesn't mean anything to a sales guy. He's, he doesn't have a clue of is a, is a 12 turns of inventory better for his customer than six. No, he wants to have orders delivered on time. Uh, so for me, uh, the selection of the right metrics, uh, helping you in a discussion with the business is key. And it's, it's a huge change now in supply chain analytics that we, are, we have the potential of, with the systems to get more and more data, more and more insights but you definitely need to translate them into a business uh, discussion with the people. Thank you. And what are some key trends for 2015 that you've seen maybe in supply chain analytics? Well, well definitely uh, cross-relationship analysis and not only one singular. So I, I see also so that that's one element for the analysis. Um, on, on KPI, I see the emergence of um, a composite indicator, which can be quite tricky because to interpret them, it's, you have multiple uh, root causes. What I definitely see is that uh, people are not only speaking about measurements, but root cause. Uh, because at the end, we want to know what's wrong and what do we need to do to correct it. 
Um, uh, so so I, I see a lot of discussion on root cause analysis, a lot of, uh, lot of push from the top executive to really understand what is behind the figure, what is behind the KPI. So that, and that's really now it becomes more and more uh, key. It's, uh, it's linked to the complexity of, uh, of, uh, of data availability, uh, huge systems, messaging, a hell of a lot of data. Uh, you need to get things out of it. Data are not a, an objective in itself. Well, that's really, a, that's just a way, a way to achieve it. So really, root cause analysis, uh, action plans, of course, uh, and, and probably data visualization. So meaning simplifying, get a broad view, um, trust the people that are building data, but, but really have the conversation on how we're going to get it and where do we come from, where do we go. What are the main difficulties you've encountered in supply chain analytics? Yeah. Well, the biggest one by far, getting the right data, getting the data. Um, uh, I have potentially in Schneider more than 100 uh, systems to get data from. Uh, get data aligned, get data uh, cleaned. Uh, is really key because if you are basic, uh, ba basing your, uh, your decision on wrong data, well, you should not start. So that's, that's for me, that, that really, that data extraction uh, is, is really key. And, uh, and then probably the, the second challenge will be uh, um, communicate widely and simply around it. That's, that's for me the two, the two main areas. Yes, I understand. And my last question for you would be, what companies would you recommend to be looked at due to their approach to supply chain analytics and their results? Well, you know, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, well, I would probably say that uh, the one you should look at are, are in, to in, in the top gardeners. Uh, so, of course, people like Amazon and Apple, uh, I, I guess they have zillions of data and, and, and thousands of different analytics uh, and they, are, they seem to be very strong at, and they have really uh, eff efficient supply chain. So, um, and those are mainly, you know, uh, you have Procter & Gamble, Unilever, all the FMCG companies are also very strong because it's, I guess, in their DNA to analyze a lot of data. Uh, on, on business to business, well, I would, I would probably say you can follow us <laughs> because we are making a, a huge progress. Eh? We went uh, from uh, 86 position of Gartner to uh, in, in the top 30 now. So, the, so, so we are really progressing. We are really uh, uh, moving ahead. We are not that as far as, 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 uh, as Amazon and Apple, that's for sure. Um, and by the way, there will no be, there will, I don't think there will be a, a, a one size fits all approach on that. Uh, it has to fit to your business model. Um, and even inside Schneider, we, we have discussion about 12 business models. Uh, just imagine the difficulty you have to then cope with different companies where if each of them has got 12 business models, mm -hmm. it's uh, potentially a, a, a huge stuff. But, uh, but definitely those ones would be nice. But get a look to Schneider. Yes. <laughs> going to be interesting. We certainly will. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.